Saturday and I'm walking at Tuesday Cycle. First, I'm gonna drop off my note on the horizon that I didn't get to last week. And then run a couple errands and some pressure. It's a beautiful sunny morning. Pretty sure this building is all new from when I was here. All of this. And there's a check in. Check it out. Okay, that was a flop because they don't take the modems at any store, so I might have to go into DC or ship it or something, but whatever, I'm bringing it to the class. But I have 15 minutes till Soul Cycle, so I'm gonna hop in Sephora, see if I can get a sample of the House Labs Foundation. I kinda wanna try it. Okay, that was another flop because that store didn't do samples. <laughs> but I tried a couple colors and I might go back to another store and get one, but now it's Soul Cycle time. Soul Cycle was great. I forgot how amazing Kelly's classes are, honestly, I miss them. And now I'm in the container store. I just want to pick up like a handful of wood hangers for my coat rack that I just built. I feel like this place is probably overpriced, but I don't really want that many. So yeah, see, actually this could be good. Just like six, $10, that's not bad. Um, I feel like I want the bar at the bottom to hang pants or something. Um, I found out that I can return the modem to a UPS store, so I'm just gonna pop over to UPS before I go to Trader Joe's. Honestly, this is dangerous for me to be here. I should just take a look and see if there's anything that I want. There's probably a lot of things. 25% off. Oh God. <laughs> so many organizing things. But truth be told, I should probably wait until I actually like have all my furniture before I get little things like this, so I'm gonna hold off. Oh, I like that bookcase. Too bad I read ebooks. <laughs> That's kind of the um, downside of the Kindle life. But I am gonna get these hangers and go and hang them up. My newie's coming today, so I can put them all up on my coat rack. So, this is a huge container store. This honestly reminds me of like shopping for my college dorm. Um, but they have great stuff, so look how cute all their kitchen stuff Amazing I need to unpack my candles so I can like have a nice scent in my room. Maybe I'll do that today Okay, successfully returned the modem at UPS. It was super easy and now we're at Trader Joe's for groceries Store is like so empty and easy to get through for Saturday morning first Trader Joe's haul in the new apartment kitchen let's go I decided to do turkey chili this week because chili is just the easiest thing and so good for like batch cooking and then I can bring it to work and it's just really low thought low stress so and I know what to get for that so I got ground turkey frozen corn um, chopped onion you could just get a regular onion but I'm lazy I got some chili powder because I'm out I have the other seasonings I think I got a can of kidney beans and black beans and a big can of crushed tomatoes and I got some spray avocado oil just for cooking otherwise and let's see what else is chili related bone broth I feel like I'm forgetting something oh in here there's a bell pepper you're on my tripod <laughs> um there's a bell pepper in here with a sweet potato and that's not for the chili though and that's pretty much it. I think otherwise I had what I need. I have like garlic and whatever. And to eat with the chili, I got some tortilla chips and also with the salsa I have. And then for breakfast, I got these hash browns. I love avocados, gluten-free bagels and gluten-free bread. And back here also, this was just a fun new thing that I saw that I was intrigued by. Maple pancake flavored puffs. They're gluten-free and vegan. And they're like a little sweet maple treat. I'll try them later. My snacky things are some mochi rice nuggets. I used to see these in Trader Joe's all the time. They were like bigger ones, but I think the smaller ones would be better because those were like really hard to chew. And they're good if you just want something crunchy. And then the sweet treats on the way out. You guys, this Trader Joe's is, first of all, it was so not crowded. It was amazing for like mid-Saturday. It was like noon when I was there. And it was great. Um, it was still like 
there's plenty of people, but it wasn't like pushing and waiting in line as you are walking through the store like New York is. <laughs> so that was lovely. But what they do have is they keep all of the like sweets and last minute things in the line. So you don't get to like stand in the aisle and ponder if you really want chocolate or not and then you just get it. So that's what I did. I always get these though. I love these if I'm wanting like a little something sweet. They're the oat chocolate bars with rice in them. And then these were just like a cute Valentine's themed thing. Caramel hearts. I love chocolate caramel so why not? And they had these and I always pick up a pack if they have them because they don't always have them and they're my favorite sweet treat. So dark chocolate rice cakes. Okay. That's what we're working with for this week. There's some things that I did want to get, but I decided not to just because I was walking and I already knew I was going to have some heavy things stocking up, like the cans and everything. So I didn't get rice. I still have some rice for my Wegmans order last week and I didn't get... There's like a couple like sauces. They weren't a necessity, so I'll just get them next week. And this will be a good starting place. I'm so excited. I love that routine though. It was so nice to like go from Soul Cycle to run my errands to go to Trader Joe's and then walk back because it was such nice weather. I'm gonna put this away. Shower. I also got my vanity in the mail. This was waiting right at my door when I got back so I'm very excited about it. I don't I think I want to go somewhere like I kind of just want to go into DC because I really haven't. I mean I've been to Georgetown and I've been to work but since I moved, I've pretty much just been in Arlington. So it's a beautiful day. I might go walk the National Mall or something and just go bop around. So I don't know if I'm gonna build this quite yet, but maybe like later today when I get back. My hangers here, I'll put them on my rack. Clothing rack. These will be good, I think. Throw them in here. Yes, let's shower. I'm getting ready and I just threw a few little like waves at the end of my hair to give it some body and I wanted to finish it off and I'm gonna use the Scene Magic Serum. I've talked to you guys about this stuff before and I'm so happy they're sponsoring this video again because I love this stuff and I use it all the time. A good finishing serum if you do it after you style your hair like I am today or you use it like when your hair is damp and it gives it like a shine and frizz control. But what I really like about Scene, and especially like in the winter when a lot of us are struggling with skin and dryness, eczema, etc., is the brand focuses on actual like skincare. You can tell the difference. It already looks so much smoother and just like ready for the day. You guys know I'm always battling dry skin in my eczema, especially in the winter, so I'm always trying to find products that not only don't irritate it and make it worse, but can actively make it better. And there actually is a connection between skincare and hair care because the things that you're putting on your hair are touching your skin. They do affect it, especially if you experience like dry scalp. Scene products are developed by a Harvard trained dermatologist. So you know that they know what they're doing when they're designing the products that actually do care for your skin. So I was really excited when I found a brand that was not only non-comedogenic, but also safe for eczema prone, sensitive skin. And their fragrance free products also have the NEA, National Eczema Association seal of acceptance, which is, I always look for that little logo, like I've said. So not only is it great for your skin, it also is just great hair care quality. In an independent study, the Scene Magic Serum was shown to reduce hair breakage by up to 81% after a single use. If you wanna check it out, use my code Christy20 for 20% off. So definitely check it out, link below, use code Christy20 for 20% off on Scene. The day is already getting away from me. Um, I always underestimate how much time it's gonna take between Workout, errands, shower, get ready. Good to go for the day. Um, so it's three o'clock, <laughs> but whatever. I don't really wanna do that much anyway. I just wanna go for like a little walk around the National Mall while there's daylight. And then I might try and pop in a Sephora in DC because the one here didn't give samples. And I really wanna try this foundation. I've heard such good things about House Labs. I've been an Estee Lauder Double Wear loyalist for probably a decade, but I wanna try um, House Labs because it's supposed to be a little more dewy and better for dry skin. So we'll see. But first, we're gonna try these. I haven't even seen these on social media and I definitely follow Trader Joe's new product accounts. So I'm behind the times. Ingredients are not bad. It's like cornmeal, seasoning, maple syrup powder, and brown rice flavor, or flour, sorry. It's surprising, there's only four grams of sugar. Oh my God, they smell so maple -y. I'm surprised this wasn't a fall product, unless it was. 
I bet they just didn't have this in New York. I'm losing my mind. It looks like the same exact corn puffs that they have the like cacio e pepe ones. Wow. I didn't know that they could make maple syrup powder, but damn, they really did that. This tastes so much like actual maple syrup. Like big puffy breakfast cereal in a good way. This is definitely the kind of thing that you could accidentally eat very quickly. Highly recommend, especially if you're a maple person. It's 310 and I'm heading out, but I'm just wearing these like navy flare jeans. And I'm honestly wearing a t-shirt underneath, you guys. It's 50 degrees and sunny today. It's not that cold. And it's cold in the shade and like if there's wind, but especially now it's like warmer. And there's people like wearing t-shirts and all sorts of crazy things. So I feel like this will be fine because this coat is not super thick, but I think it'll be warm enough for 50 degrees and sunny. So I'm gonna grab my sunglasses and take the Metro to the Smithsonian stop because that is where you go for the National Mall. Do some DC sightseeing and then we'll come back and build furniture and do more apartment stuff. The station is massive. Okay, take two. <laughs> now we're at the Sephora Metro Center. Okay, I caved and just bought it because you know we're in the DC area does see this in Sephora, which is an interesting fact. <laughs> like a return it. So now we're gonna go to the National Mall. Oh, construction. Fun. I thought about going oh there's Ford Cedar. Um I thought about going to get coffee, but I really just don't need more coffee. It's more just for the experience. <laughs> but I could do that another time. Just DC things going to Sephora and accidentally walking past the house where Lincoln died. In 1865, across from the Ford Theater. This was the building where. I worked when I had my first internship when I was in grad school. I worked at a think tank called the Wilson Center. It's such a cool building. USA is in here too. Honestly, all the buildings are just incredible. It's literally so pretty outside. Okay, the sun's gone down, but my newly arrived and look how cute it looks on this new clothing rack. I think this is so fun and whoever gave me this idea to just like hang my monthly newly pieces here, love it, thank you. It's a mix of things because I was trying to cover a few different occasions and also some of them, like this rack just looks costumey. First of all, this one was a disappointment because I didn't order this. This is like something that they filled my cart with because one of the items that I picked was like they had inventory issues so they didn't actually have the size that I picked even though it said they did, which they do sometimes, um, which is a bummer when it happens, but they make up for it by giving you a free bonus item in the next one. So whatever. Um, this was in my closet saved, but it's just simply... I don't know if I can pull this off, especially not being in New York now. It's even harder to wear like <laughs> statement things like this. Not that I really care, it's just kind of giving candy shop something fun to wear on Valentine's Day. I like this bright pink sweater from Urban and I also could wear this in Austin. I'm going to Austin, Texas in less than two weeks. Um, we're doing like a best friends meeting in the middle trip. I got this purpley coat. I had a purple jacket in my last newly that I was obsessed with. I wore it so much, maybe because it was freezing cold and it was like the warmest piece that I had. Maybe because I really liked the color on me, I think. So I'm trying out some other purple. Kind of in the whole era of the mob wife. I love it, it's so fun. Also not super heavy, you would think it'd be super warm, but it wasn't bad when I tried it on. This one, I kind of, I don't know, I feel like I've had things like this before and I have things similar, so probably not the most necessary. But I like the brown leather shirt kind of look. 
and I thought this would also be good for Austin just in terms of weather. This is a skirt that I've rented probably twice. I should just buy it at this point. But every time I'm like, oh, it's not the right weather and I'll just get it again if I want. And I don't know. But I love it and I thought this would be fun to wear with cowboy boots. Honestly, I don't even think I need to do a full try on haul because I just like walked you all through it. But the brands on these, this is Blank NYC. This is We The Free, Free People, Urban Outfitters, Sadie and Sage and Maeve, so if you're on Newly or just interested in like buying any of these pieces, um, those are the brands you can look up. You'll see me like, wear them throughout my vlogs. Like I'll probably wear one tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to meet a friend for coffee and then we're going to the Georgetown flea market together. And very soon, this space won't be empty anymore because I'm about to build my vanity. I think I should actually make my chili first because while it simmers I can build the vanity. Um, and it's probably gonna take some time. So I need to clear out this stuff and make space for a little construction project. <laughs> I honestly love building things. Um, that might sound weird because I feel like it's a very annoying and time consuming and potentially frustrating task, but I love just like zoning in, putting my phone away, like listening to a YouTube video or something and just like following instructions and building things like little things. Maybe I should invest in some Legos. <laughs> also, I think another apartment thing. Um, I know I said I don't know if the neon sign has a place here anymore, but I kind of do like the idea of putting it up here. I think it's cute and it's not like super prominent because it is around this corner. So it would just be in the background of here. But I, I like the neon sign with like the white wall. I forgot that these were coming. Um, they look kind of weird now. I just hung them up. They're basically like super adhesive things that they stick to the tile. And then these shelves. The reviews said that they were surprisingly strong. I just have a lot of shower products. I like to alternate. Like I don't like to use the same shampoo and conditioner every time I wash my hair. So I'll have like a deep conditioning one and then a clarifying. I wanted to have more space so I don't have to put them on the ground like this. So um, I'm going to leave these overnight empty while they're sealing to the tile. I know that the sticky parts look kind of atrocious, but the products are going to block them anyway. So it's fine. Let's make chili and then I'll build my vanity. Just measured out all the seasonings for the chili, and this is the most fun part. It's like giving it some color. Oh, no, it's all steamy. There we go. Um, this chili powder is like very red and very spicy looking, so pray for me. We'll be okay. Oh, it smells spicy. This could be potentially disastrous. It's smoky and hot chili powder, but... <laughs> Hopefully it's simpler enough. We got all of this. Now I think is when we add tomatoes and broth and all of that good stuff. This is the state of the dresser building or the vanity building as I left it yesterday. Um, I didn't finish it. It's kind of a project, but of course. And it was pretty, once I got going, it was pretty easy. Um, I basically built the drawers. This is for the big middle part. And out here we have, I need to like clean it off and take the stickers off, but we have the little cabinet side. So basically half of the vanity has legs and the other half sits on top of this. Yeah, we got this built. I'll do the rest of the desk later today and then put it in its place. I don't like these knobs at all, honestly. I think they're too, they look very like, I don't know, cheap. So I wanna get my own to attach so I didn't put them super tight. But I think I might get like little black knobs that don't stand out like that. Anyway, I'm about to head out to meet my friend. Then we're going to the Georgetown flea market. I don't have any particular things that I'm looking for, honestly. I probably can't get any big furniture because I can't transport it. I'm going to wear this purple coat from Newly. This is the Sadie and Sage one. It's not super cold today and this isn't crazy heavy. So I thought that this would be good with just like a cream sweater and blue jeans. Yeah, I'm going to go catch a bus. I don't have the best track record with buses, but um, I should have one that I can take into Georgetown and then one that goes up because the flea market's like up the, what is it, Wisconsin. Luckily it comes 20 minutes from now and it's only a two minute walk. So I'm not in as much of a rush. I am so excited for this to actually be something and usable and I can actually get ready my vanity tomorrow if I do get ready because I'm working from home. And the drawers are a pretty good size. 
in here. So this will be nice because I have all of these like makeup drawers. I have a bag with products I use every single day and then I have, I haven't unpacked this box yet because I don't really want to unpack into this desk because I want to replace it. <laughs> But I have these like white drawers that previously, those are like the rest of my products, sat on this cart. Um, and then I used, but I don't really want to bring that into, I don't know. We're, we're deciding if we're going to keep the cart, if it's going to be useful. I'll be able to unpack that once I get this set up. I tried the House Labs foundation today and I really, really like it, honestly. I think it's a really nice finish and I put a little bit of powder on it just because it is a little more dewy. But the thing is, they I was going to get the color 110, but they weren't in stock yesterday. So I picked up 100 because I was like, oh, it's winter. I can warm it up with bronzer. Um, it's just a little too light, I think. So I mixed it with like the remnants of my darker Estee Lauder foundation to match me a little bit better. But I think in terms of actually getting it to be good on its own, I'll want it to be a little bit darker. There is a Sephora in Georgetown. At this point, it's like the only Sephora in the town that I haven't been to this weekend. I'm trying to decide if I want to even bring this. I feel like I'll kick myself if we end up near that Sephora and then I don't have it, um, just in case they have a better color in stock. Honestly, I should probably eat something before we go. We're going to, like I said, a Turkish cafe. My friend Monica was actually living in Turkey for a bit and she also just recently came back to DC. It was a surprise because I didn't know that she was going to be back here when I was, so I'm so excited to catch up with her. Yeah, I have like 10 minutes until I need to leave. So honestly, I might just pop half a bagel into the toaster. I'm excited for today, it's another beautiful sunny day and it'll be fun to explore. And I'll come back, finish my furniture, clean, prepare for the week. Cheers. Flower pot? Imagine me putting this on my table. <laughs> um, is that like a cigarette holder? It looks like a cigarette tray. Cigar tray. So many fun trinkets. Okay, we're here in Georgetown and we just went to Foxtrot. And can you explain the backstory of how you found these Swedish candies? I don't know if any of you out there are Swedish candy TikTok. Apparently it's an entire it. side of TikTok about yes. these candies. Entire, it's taken over my SYP. <laughs> so we have elderflower. Is this a brand that a lot of people talk about? No, but the brand that people are talking about is Bonbon. Bon. A lot it's of people really have been more. asking about Bonbon. Bon. So we got sour blackberry fish and elderflower oh fish. The elderflower looks like it'd be a medicine, like a cough drop or something. Yeah. They're like slightly yellow. It is. It's a little bit medicinal. A little bit medicinal. Okay, let's give it a go. Yeah, let's try it. I feel like it's gonna smell like tea or like. Ooh, it's. I don't know. I feel like I'm not normally an elderflower lover. Ooh. It tastes like medicine to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm into that. I think it's just the flavor is so specific. It might be the fact that I have a hair in my mouth, but. <laughs> With an interference on mm -hmm. aisle five. I mean, the gummy's good, but the flavor is just. I feel like if you like it, you would really like it, but it's very specific. It's specific, very mild, but definitely medicinal. It's giving mm -hmm. like weird cough drop, chewy. I don't know. What's your assessment out of 10? I, I feel like I am biased just because I know I don't like elderflower. So I would give it like six out of 10. But if you like it, you would like it, you know? Mine's a 7 out of 10. I like elderflower, but okay. definitely to this one. Yes. My hair really detracted. <laughs> now we have sour blackberry. Sour blackberry fish. Okay, this one I have higher hopes for because this is the one These that bon bon. the girlies are talking about. By the way, we got this from Fox Shot in DC. And they had a lot of fun things. We were really going through that. Oh, it's sour also, which makes yeah. it different. She's cute. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, this is definitely better. Yeah. But not that sour. No, it's kind of like smart sweet sour where it's like just a little bit sugared and has like a tart flavor. Mm -hmm. 
flavor. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Better than Swedish fish. I do love Swedish fish though, so I'm biased. Mm. But okay, Bon Bon would recommend. Yeah. Watching Abby Asklin and the death. Oh my god, I keep saying that. Vanity is almost done. Ta da! Okay, now I just have to do the little fasteners that keep it in place and put it in the drawers and attach the mirror and put it in there and plug in the mirror and then we're done! But this is the design. It's kind of cool because you can either like build it however you want with the legs. So you could attach the legs on the right side and put the cabinet on the left. What's interesting to me though is that this doesn't actually attach like it's loose on it. So it could slide if you're not careful. Um, and I think I, like you could put it directly under that and just sit on one side. I think I'm gonna have it like this where it's only partially on it. Cause also this side's gonna be closer to my clothing rack and I don't wanna be sitting against that. And the mirror you guys is much bigger than I anticipated. I don't know why I thought it was just like a little desktop thing. It's kind of heavy and kind of big. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this alone frankly, but we'll figure it out. Kind of fun. I, I still like was debating if I even wanted to use it because it's going to overlap my window quite a bit and I think it would be better than my little desktop one that I have. So I think we'll try it and it lights up and it's like a fun shape. So yeah, I think I'm going to use the mirror. <laughs> okay, here goes Evan. Backing up. Ow. Backing up. <laughs> This is not too wide at all. I can definitely move it over. Oh, that's cute. I actually don't think that's that's pretty nice. I think that's good enough. Cute, and it doesn't take up too much space. I think the mirror works, especially with like the little cloud plate that I have. I like the wavy lines, and that's how it looks with my little coat rack. Okay, let's finish it up. There she is! Damn, it doesn't quite tuck and it does look like a lot of dark brown. I feel like it's not, not necessarily a good fit. Operation is a go. Oh, it's just like a nice light little glow. Wow, what a rhyme. The whole scene. I like it. We got, I think that's probably normal and then cool toned. Nice, nice daylight look. And then we got, or maybe that's normal and the first one was warm. That looks a little cooler than the first one. Fun little filming spot, getting ready. I mean, I'd probably put the camera like up here. Honestly, you're kind of raised up. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna add this to my apartment page on my Amazon shop. Um, that'll be linked down below if you're interested in this vanity. I'm trying to think what kind of chair would look best there. I feel like even like a white fabric chair of some sort. Let's try the folding chair and see. No, that looks stupid. Now that my room is more set up and I did a clean sweep of my apartment, the dishwasher's running, um, I cleared out a box here. I also took out trash recycling, blah, blah, blah. I was gonna do a load of laundry, but I think I might just do it in the morning because I wanted to like be asleep before, by the time the dryer would have been done, so it's fine. I'm gonna sign off here. I really didn't expect to do an entire weekend vlog. I thought I'd get a couple clips, but I feel like I filmed so much this weekend. And it was a really good first weekend in DC. We did some fun things, productive things apartment things you saw it all so thanks for watching love you guys so much so glad to have you on this journey as we continue getting used to the new home and getting our bearings a little bit uploading my moving vlog from last weekend that my editor just sent me shout out to Jana I kind of pick and choose when I'm able to do my own editing I try and do it when I have extra time I'll probably edit this one. But you can always tell like when the editing's really shitty, it's me. <laughs> so shout out to Jana for the other ones. I'm already so behind and I have so many things to upload that um, I might just make this next one a full week in my life vlog, but we'll see. And I'll see you guys then. Bye.